mucho chile rojo, oh chile rojo, oh chile rojo, todos. I'm working here at the Food Club, roasting green chili, which is the original hatch green chili. It's the hottest and the best in the world because it is freshly grown from farms. This is the uh, native spinach. In English it's called lamb's quarters, in Spanish it's called quelite. George Rogers and I shop here for the fresh produce and meat and to see all the people. My name is Lori Moorhead and I am this year's chairman of the board and one of the site managers for this year's Bayard Farmers Market. Uh, we have lots of uh, WIC vendors here so we take the WIC vouchers as well as the Senior Citizen Nutrition uh, Program through the WIC. A lot of the senior citizens are coming now and they're all thrilled to see local produce in Bayard. I'm uh, Victor Skaggs, I'm from Earth and Green Farm, and I'm growing uh, fruit right now in Baywood. And I love being at the farmer's market because, for one thing, the food gets to the consumer much faster. That means I, that the fruit doesn't have to be picked a week and a half in advance to ship it. You can get it really in prime condition, right, right on the tree, or almost. And so I like that aspect of it. I'm completely organic, don't use any chemicals, and so I think the farmer's market generally is a good place to get natural food. My name is Tulia Dad, and uh, this is our co-op here in Hila, New Mexico that uh, we started as a community effort to um, give all the local growers here in Hila a place to sell their produce. And there's not a lot of people that live in this area, but it supports the local customers so they don't have to follow the produce down to the bigger markets. Um, we also started it because my family is um, struggling and sustaining a lot of Started as a little shack out in this yard and invited the growers to help us fix it up. Um, and then just the support of the community. All the growers put in and the volunteer. Potato, beat them potato. Oh, I think it's wonderful to support our communities and you know where know where our food comes from and to know the people who grow it and then we don't have to pay somebody to ship it all over the place and wonder how it was grown and where and so I just love coming and meeting the same people that I see every week and getting to see the things that they grow. From a farmer's perspective, it's really great because it's our livelihood. So we depend on local customers who want our produce. 
um, and then you know we go and we spend our money in the community so it all stays locally in the community we believe in buying locally so it really I think we really try to support the local businesses as much as we can um, keeping the farmlands locally in production and from being developed that's really important um, and community I mean look at, look at this you know farmers market it's, it's a great way to connect with the community and get to know each other and collaborate and, My name is Ruben Castillo and I'm down in Baywood and I do uh, organic growing and we're trying to get the people uh, to realize that uh, organic growing is good for them. fraction of what we are growing. We're growing potatoes, lemon cucumbers, bell peppers, uh, Armenian cucumbers. <laughs> Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Que buena. Zaragoza. 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 Cheese. <laughs> Para saludar a todos mis compañeros. <laughs> My name is Juan, and this is my wonderful orchard. I've had it for eight years, and I think the most important thing is that it has no pesticides. The taste is there. Nature has given us this wonderful opportunity to give really wonderful food. And I go to farmer's market, and I think the main thing is that I do it for love. Food, and eat good food, and you'll live longer. I think local agriculture is critical because you're getting fruit that is here. I take my food to market. Wow, it's incredible. 